Hello everyone, uh, good morning. Let's solve the problem B from the weekly contest 384. First we will discuss the number of subarrays that match a pattern 1. Then we will discuss the pattern 2 which is an extended version of this. So this problem is really, really an interesting one. Let's understand the problem. Then we will, can see the intuition. First we will understand the question clearly. Then we will go with the intuition part. In the coding part you can try by yourself. Now you are given a zero indexed integer array numbers of size n and a zero indexed integer array pattern is saying that you will give the numbers and you will give the pattern. And in that pattern it contains minus 1, 0 and 1. The pattern can contain minus 1, 0 or 1. Now a subarray nums of i comma j of size m plus 1 say to match the pattern if the following condition hold for each element is saying that suppose we are taking this numbers we are taking this numbers 1 2 3 4 and 5 comma 6 and we have pattern as 1 comma 1 1 comma 1 1 means 1 means my second this element should be greater than my 0th element if it is minus 1 if it is minus 1 that means my first element should be less than my second element if you are taking i comma j i comma j if my v of i is greater than v of j if my this element is greater than this and this i and this is sorry this is i plus 1 i plus 1 greater then will i will be minus 1 if v of i equals to v of i plus 1 then it will be 0 and if v of i is less than v of i plus 1 that means it will be 1 so this will be my pattern now if you see here is saying that pattern equals to 2 that means we can take the array of size 3 array of size why it is 3 if you are taking 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 and we have 1 comma 1 that means we are checking for 2 elements 1 comma 2 and 2 comma 3 which is 1 comma 2 is greater than 1 3 is greater than 2 and we have pattern is 1 comma 1 so 1 2 3 is my valid then 2 3 4 is valid 3 4 5 4 5 6 is valid so total number of count is 4 now let us see this example we have this pattern and is saying that first is 1 that means my 4 is greater than 1 my 4 is greater than 1 and we have 0 that means these 2 are equal and minus 1 which is less less so 1 4 4 1 can be my answer and then we will start with this index this index my 4 4 equal so this is not invalid 4 4 is greater than 1 this is also a not valid now if you see 1 3 yes my 3 is greater than 1 is yes, this is 1 it is valid then 3 comma 5 so these are different but is saying that it should be equal so this will also fail now we have 3 is less than 5 so yes 1 is satisfied 5 comma 5 which is 0 satisfied 5 is less than 3 minus 1 satisfied so 3 5 5 3 will be my answer so i think you understood it i think you understood it try to implement try to implement what he is saying and try to implement in a brute force way it can be anything so he told 100 uh, 100 as nums dot length so you can go till n power 3 try by yourself uh, you will you will try to understand different edge scenarios that's why i'm saying try by yourself now I think you have tried for a couple of minutes. Now let us understand the coding part. Now here we are given matching we are calculating n and m. n is the size of my v and p is my pattern and this is my new word. Now answer equals to 0. When i is equals to 0 i less than n i plus plus. Now if you see suppose if you are taking this example now 1 1 4 4 1 3 5 5 3 and is saying that pattern size is 3 my pattern is 1 0 and minus 1 now i plus m is greater than or equals to n that means that means when you are at pattern is 3 that means we need to have total number of elements as 4 when you are at this position my indexes are 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 my when you are at this position it is valid 
when it is this position 4 plus 3 that is 7 ok we are ok with it when you are at 5 fifth index my 5 plus 3 which is 8 8 is greater than or equals to 8 and we will breaking it out when we are at index 5 we will break from the loop or else j is equals to i and j plus 1 should be less than or equals to i plus m that means when we are at this position when we are at this position you should consider four elements you should consider four elements and you are checking with the next element that is why I am taking j plus 1 that is why I am taking j plus 1 because we are checking with the next element and this j plus 1 should be less than or equals to i plus m so here 0 plus 3 is 3 right 0 plus 3 is 3 and I can reach till 2 my j can go till second point so if you are going for third point then you compare with fourth index that is not a valid thing that is why we are calculating with j plus 1 now j plus 1 less than or equals to i plus m i plus m or you can write j is you can you can do with the j as well now we will check now if p of j minus i equals to minus 1 that means j minus i how we are getting j minus i we are at j j equals to i j equals to 0 0 minus 0 then when j equals to 1 my i will be 0 then it will be 1 so that is why j minus i will give my pattern index it will give my pattern index or if you are confusing if you are confusing with this statement you can take a counter counter equals to 0 then i will take p of c and every time I will try to increment my counter you can do that as well but we are going with this approach now if it is minus 1 if v of j is greater than v of j plus 1 I am saying continue and if it is 0 that should be equal if it is less than my next element that means a is less than b then it is valid if any of this statement is not valid then f equals to 1 then I am breaking it out if my f is equals to 0 I am incrementing the count and returning the answer okay returning the answer so if you see here the time complexity will be we are using two loops so it will be n into n and we are not using any extra space so it will be an order of one uh, order of one so i think you understood this approach let us see the extended version let us see the extended version what he is saying so it is a pattern two and if you see the constraints it is 10 power 6 oh that is very huge now if you see this is n into n we have done is saying 10 power 6 that means we need to come up with come up with the most optimal solution that is order of n we should come up with order of n so how how you can come up with an order of n let us see this let us see if you are at this position we are we are having this patterns ok we are having this patterns and this pattern 1 triple 4 1 3 double 5 3 this is matching ok these are my matching terms with 1 0 minus 1 ok let me consider let me consider nums so here we have nums this is my nums uh, let us take 1 4 4 1 3 5 5 and 3 and we have pattern 1 0 minus 1 now we are checking this two we are checking this two 1 4 my 4 is greater than 1 that means this is my pattern 1 4 4 here we are getting 0 4 1 it is minus 1 1 3 1 3 5 it is 1 5 5 0 5 3 minus 1 ok we are modifying it to this this because we do not care uh, let us think uh, we do not care about the every element we only need we only required whether the element is greater or less or equal we are consider about that only Th that is why we have modified this to uh, our new array our new array and 1 0 minus 1 ok let us see the pattern if you see here 1 0 minus 1 occurred once and 1 0 minus 1 occurred twice so we are returning to ok this looks like a pattern pattern matching now let us see this example now if you see 1 2 3 4 5 6 now this is my 1 2 3 4 5 6 if you construct so let us take 1 2 3 4 5 6 and my pattern is 1 comma 1 1 comma 1 now let us construct 1 1 1 1 1 and is saying 1 comma 1 will be my pattern if you see here yes this is my pattern 1 2 3 and 4 s 
we are returning 4. So, you can see here this is a pattern matching, pattern matching algorithm, it is not for strings, it is for arrays. Most of the times you have string with strings, now this is not about string, this is about arrays. Let us see, now if you encounter this pattern matching, if you think K and P or Robin cap will work, so if you are in the contest and implementing that will take good amount of time because uh, LPS is something which we need to think a lot, that is why you can go to geek for geeks and in even lead code, even lead code will not uh, uh, will uh, will not plagiarize you because this is a standard algorithm, this is a st standard algorithm you can go and you can you can use KMP search, here he has used in KMP search and even in code forces if you are using algorithms from CP algorithms you can copy paste only the algorithm part, there will be no plague because that is a standard one. So, you know how to implement it, but it will take time that is why you are directly copy pasting it, but in interviews it is not recommended. So, I recommend you to learn KMP, KMP, but you can take this, you can compute the LPS and you can calculate and you can make changes on this M and N, the instead of this character we will use the vectors, instead of we will change, we will modify the KMP. Let us see, let us see how we can modify the KMP. Now, we are going with T and T dot pushback minus 1, 0, 1 as usual based on the conditions we are inserting minus 1, 0 and 1 then KMP search I am taking. In the KMP search first I will be computing LPS array, LPS array is something, LPS is something if you see here, now if you are going with this. Now, if you are going with this, my LPS will be 1 and first element, now let us, there are A, B, C, A, B, A, B, my LPS, my LPS will be here, it will be 0, it is not matching 0, A, A, 1, B, 2, C, it is not matching 0, A, B, A, 1, B, now, I got A, yes, this is matching 3, this is 4. In this way, you will build LPS. You can see the logic. There are lot of videos regarding the KMP algorithm. You can watch it out. In this way, we will build the LPS based on comparisons. Then, we will apply this KMP pattern matching. So, you can understand this. So, this, this will take the complexity of order of n plus m. Order of n plus m that means the pattern size and my vector array size vector array size i think you have got it so i did not implemented kmp because i personally feel there are lot of youtube videos available so that's why we did not implement it so you can see you can search you can read the geek for geeks blog or you can search the videos just the modification is here we is here, here we are using the pattern text instead of cares then we are using pattern and here we are using LPS in star. So, there are there are no modifications at all, only the pattern and text are changing. So, I think you have got it. This is like observing the things. You will think string matching is only for the strings, but you can see, but you have seen here like vector matching is also applicable. So, if you understood this and if you gain something from this video, please consider to like and if you are new to, new to the channel, please do subscribe. Uh, and I have created a WhatsApp community, you can join that. So, in that we will share the problems. So, I will see you in the next video. Till then, bye bye.